3 launch control? What's going on guys? Welcome back to JR Garage and welcome back to the 12 days of Christmas special. We are up to day nine, I'm pretty sure. And this one, this one's gonna be a good one. I tell you what guys, I've always wanted a Porsche Cayenne and you know, the early ones go for as little as like, I don't know, a couple thousand bucks you could probably get a Hoopty V8 Cayenne for, but um, this one is uh, nothing of the sort. This is one of the biggest and baddest Cayennes they ever made and it's, it's uh, sitting right next to me. So without further ado, introducing to the channel, our new 2016 Porsche Cayenne Turbo S. <laughs> So this car, truck, whatever crossover is an absolute beast. Usually when you see the words Porsche and turbo on the rear end of a car, uh, you know it's gonna be good. Anything with turbo just makes it better, right? Then just having the word turbo is this, this little letter right here. This is an S. We have the turbo S, not just the turbo, the turbo S. So not only does that give you a bunch more horsepower and torque, increases the boost a ton, but you get, take a look, Probably my favorite part of this car. You get those massive, I think 410 millimeter, if I'm not mistaken, carbon ceramic brakes. And fun fact, these are actually not straight off the Urus. The Urus is straight off of these, if that makes sense. Sometimes my genius is, it's almost frightening. It's, this came before the Urus and they have the same brakes. So this is the first one to have these massive 10 piston brakes. And this is only possible on the Turbo S model. Maybe you could get on the Turbo and pay like $15,000, but it came factory equipped on the S model. I could in theory sell these brakes and just put on steel brakes and pocket like probably $10,000 or 8,000 bucks, something like that. I'm thinking about it, but then again, to have these on the car, that would be like sacrilege taking off these crazy brakes off a of Turbo S, but I could. They're worth a small fortune. Let's see what's let's see what's under the hood. I got the keys here. That's if the battery is still good. Oh, yeah, right. I should probably be honest and um, admit that there's a reason we got this car so cheap, and it would be that there's a little damage up front. Obviously, we didn't do that. We bought it from auction, typical, us at Salvage Auction. I saw this thing in California, and I couldn't pass it up. Um, but there were a couple of red flags. This car was listed as a non-run and drive. That's not good. It could obviously mean that the engine's blown or it could just mean that they couldn't get to the battery and they didn't know how to jump start or whatnot. And it was also, of course, unknown mileage. When it doesn't run or light up, obviously the odometer is digital, so we don't know how many miles are on it. And uh, yeah, so it was a little bit of a risk. And, and, and shipping it's an absolute pain. When these cars are stuck in park and you can't get them into neutral, just moving it around is a nightmare. The fork lifted off. Thank you, Market AZ Cycle Parts, for getting this thing off the transporter and then onto our trailer, but that didn't solve it. We still couldn't get it in neutral. We still couldn't get it started. We tried to jump it, got jump points. Sure, the battery's below the seat, very difficult to access. The battery posts are right here, positive and a ground. So should be enough just to start the car right up, right? So that's what we did. Absolutely no luck. Nothing would light up on the car. So we're like, oh my gosh, dang. After doing a little bit of research on the forums, we learned that there's a big pyro fuse that blows in an accident when the airbags go off and uh, that disconnects the battery so that it doesn't supply uh, power to the car anymore, or whatever, create a fire, or you know, if, it's, if the accident's severe enough to blow the airbag, they figure you don't want the battery connected anymore. So I get it. But we, we went in and replaced that, and sure, we got more things to light up, and it finally lit up. We could see the mileage. I think it's like 80-something thousand miles. We'll see. But uh, it still wouldn't start up. So we're like, oh my gosh, what is wrong with this car? Uh, turns out it was just a fuse, one fuse. We should have started there, stupid us. But anyway, here's the engine, 4.8 liter, twin turbo V8, 570 horsepower, I'm pretty sure. And it should be very, very fast. So it'll be exciting to go for a first drive. 
so we are missing that one. It's completely gone, but it's air to air. It does not have fluid in it, right? So you can see the coolant is fully topped off here. Coolant does not run through the intercooler, which yeah, is completely ripped off. So we're good. So it should run and we're not gonna damage anything, right? I know it's black, it's a little boring. I kind of wish it was like a red interior. That'd be way cooler. But, um, you know, is what it is. It's black. We could always wrap the exterior. Actually, I think this would be a really cool car to wrap. So comment down below if that'd be a good idea. Okay, airbags are obviously blown. Um, what's crazy is I did some digging on this car and um, I bought the Carfax to see more information about, you know, previous maintenance and the accident. And it said instead of collision involved with another car, it said car hit deer. So two, one. Oh, look at that. Oh, heck yeah. This thing is extremely well optioned. It does have the Porsche Sport exhaust, so it has a little button on the interior and it's got the valve so you can be loud when you want. And it makes a pretty big difference, I'll show you. Um, the sticker price on this car was $176,000 and we paid, well, we paid in the 20s. Yeah, we got a robbery on this thing. Take a look at what we're working with damage wise. Uh, obviously, I just noticed, can you see the wheels? Do they look a little off to you? I was looking at that too. Yeah, that one's slightly pointing to the right and that one's slightly pointing to the left. So, we'll have to fix that, but um, at least the frame, big frame here, frame support, I guess it bolts on to the actual frame. Uh, this is pretty good. I don't see any damage here. Obviously all these plastics did not survive. Just like this, this, this. Luckily the headlights survived. Oh my goodness. They're perfect. That would have been really expensive had these chipped. Air to air intercooler, not that much money luckily. Uh, these parts are readily available on eBay Motors. I think I saw that for three to 400 bucks. Yeah, here we go. Found something. Here, we can recreate the accident. So, kind of put this back up. So, here it is. And then, you know, what What do you know? He's, he's driving down the highway and then a deer pops out and bam, right there, smacks into it. So. We, of course, just took this off to see what we were working with. Thankfully, they left this in the trunk, and so we've got parking sensors, we've got grills and parking lights and stuff, so all that stuff adds up. So whenever you can get the old parts, do so. Only body part that we need is the bumper. So if we can find one that's black, we have to, no paintwork needed, which would be like, that'd be so clutch. And it is a common color, so I think we can do that. So bumper, all the plastic bits, the variable flap intake thing, and fix the escort setup, buy a couple new ones of those. It's really not that bad. As we know, we have far too many cars and that's why we're giving more away. So we'd like to quickly thank the sponsor of today's video, the uh, the free car giveaways, our other page um, where we're giving away a car. So please go support our other page and uh, join to win the RX-8 this Christmas going live and it's free. Nobody gives us anything. You guys have heard us talk about it before. So go follow the page. If you guys happen to have any parts for this car, certainly hit us up, jrgarage22 at gmail.com. We just listed everything that we need, so hit us up. That would be greatly appreciated. And whatever suspension thing we need. Do you launch control? Does that launch? No, no, I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not trying to break anything. <laughs> oh my goodness! Because we have a huge disconnect in our turbo system with the intercooler not being there, it makes this crazy sound, listen. <laughs> okay, we probably shouldn't be driving on this. But... Dang, that sounds good. The, the factory pops and crackles with that sport exhaust. I mean, I think it was like a three or $4,000 option. So I, in my opinion, worth it. There you guys have it. Thank you for joining us on new car reveal number nine. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the mix of super cheap old cars and expensive exotics. We still have some crazy ones to come, but this is uh, 
this is a worthy contender. And for the price, I mean, even though we paid the price of a Honda Accord used. We paid that months ago. So if you guys are handy and want to knock this project out with us, that'd be awesome. We could use the extra hands. Yeah, we, we, do, uh, we do have to hire a mechanic soon. That's a good point. Send us your uh, mechanic resumes, jrgross22 at gmail.com. If you're in Phoenix and you're pretty handy working on some cars that we have, we really need some help because we're too busy running our businesses to make the money to buy these things that we never have time to actually fix them. And you know, we get, we get some done and eventually we'll get this one done. It'll be tearing up the streets. Yeah. All right, go follow Free Car Giveaways. Go follow us on Instagram, JR Garage and Free Car Giveaways. Win the RX-8 in a few days and uh, stay tuned for new car reveal number 10 tomorrow. See you then. Say that it feels right.